we are going to study another most important topic today and uh, it is AIDS it is acquired immune deficiency syndrome as the name says it's a problem that we acquire throughout our life and what actually we acquire we acquire immune deficiency it's a problem where we acquire the deficiency of immune system and when we acquire deficiency of immune system we suffer from variety of problems we suffer from the combination of several disorders and diseases thus we suffer from a syndrome which actually is combination of many disorders so actually aids is the deficiency of immune system and uh, that results into a several kind of problems and disorders that take place in our body therefore it is said to be acquired immune deficiency syndrome aids actually is caused by a virus which is called human immunodeficiency virus hiv virus infects to our uh, immune cells it especially amounts effect on a uh, t lymphocytes as we know as you know t lymphocytes provide us a uh, a uh, type of immunity that is said to be cell mediated immunity there are three types of uh, t lymphocytes th lymphocytes tc lymphocytes and ts lymphocytes and these cells uh, mediate with each other and they provide us a kind of immunity that's called cell mediated immunity how this virus infects uh, uh, amounts and a take on a, a t helper cells we are studying one by one to this whole process of aids at first we are going to study the structure of hiv in detail then we are going to study the transmission of aids in detail and then we are going to study how hiv mounts take on our immune cells and what kind of immune cells it affects and then we'll be studying what actually is a mechanism of replication of hiv and then we'll study its transmission uh, i mean its treatment and its preventions starting part with the structure of uh, hiv virus the structure of hiv virus is is, is is just simple it has an outermost proteinous layer lipoproteinous layer it is said to be enveloped and on this envelope is spikes are present and these spikes are what these are actually proteinous structures that are made up of glycoproteins and they perform variety of important functions for example this structure this is protein this is called glycoprotein 120 this is called glycoprotein 120 and what this glycoprotein 120 does these are proteins that give attachment to hiv to a particular uh, blood cells or t cells as t cells on their plasma membrane they have a special kind of receptors and these receptors are complementary to glycoproteins 120 therefore hiv directly attacks to hiv uh, to to uh, helper cells so how uh, hiv directly attaches to a helper cell it is because they have a special kind of proteins these are called glycoprotein 120 there are other proteins these proteins are termed as a transmembrane glycoprotein 41 and these transmembrane glycoprotein 41s are actually proteins that provide ability to this hiv to get diffused with the host cell so that it can transfer its genome into a helper cells to start replicating and finally pass to a uh, to a, a helper cell so this is called envelope and this is called glycoprotein 120 this is called transmembrane glycoprotein 41 and as we move inside this is called matrix protein layer and this is called matrix protein layer and as we move inside we reach to the uh, true structure of a virus which consists of outermost structure which is called capsid and inside capsid is the core structure of virus and the core structure of virus consists of two molecules of a single stranded rna this is called genome of the hiv virus which consists of two molecules and this is the single stranded rna molecules and other than these rna molecules there are three kinds of enzymes also the part of core structure of hiv and these enzymes are called reverse transcriptase enzyme which help, actually helps this virus to change from rna to dna and there is another enzyme that's called integrase and when dna virus changes itself from rna to dna dna viral genome gets incorporated integrated with the 
with the, with the host DNA with the help of an enzyme that is called integrase. So this is an enzyme that helps proviruses get integrated with the structure of a, a, a Th uh, genome. Okay, so Th, uh, uh, we say ke, ke that will help uh, uh, virus genome get uh, integrated with the uh, with the DNA of a Th cells. There is another protein, that protein is called protease, which actually is an important protein and its function is uh, to, to break the large proteins into a small proteins. And these small proteins uh, actually are formed, synthesized when HIV is going to, uh, to, to assemble itself uh, when replication is done also. RNA genome is produced and some of the RNA are engaged in a process of translation where large proteins are synthesized and with the help of this protease enzyme, these large enzymes, large, large proteins, sorry, break down into a small proteins and these proteins then assemble to start synthesizing the structure. The structure of HIV and HIV then breaks to the helper cells and it releases out. So this is the structure of a HIV and if we just talk about the transmission of this uh, AIDS, the AIDS is mostly transmitted by sexual contacts. It's transmitted by homosexuality or by heterosexuality. There are other reasons, other ways of transmission of AIDS which is called blood transfusion. Uh, blood transfusion is a common cause and if the transfusion of blood is not properly screened and the blood that's going to be transfused is to be is to be a fast screen and if uh, screened blood is transfused it's less harmful but if uh, transfusion is done without screening and uh, blood if if is contaminated with uh, HIV there are reasons HIV would get transmitted and uh, there are other reasons can we reuse injections needles or syringes in ATC these are also reasons that can also transfer this kind of uh, HIV AIDS is to be transmitted with the help of reuse of needles, injections or syringes. Another important surgical instruments, if they are not properly sterilized, they are also one of the major reasons of transmission of AIDS from one individual to another individual. Bones and injuries are also a cause and infection can transfer from the positive patients to a negative through the possible interaction of the bones of the two individuals so this can also be a reason this can also be a way through which AIDS gets transferred. Mother to baby is also a cause okay, mother can also transfer if mother is positive and she uh, becomes pregnant she can also transfer this kind of virus to uh, babies. So this is a story the structure of HIV and its transmission. In the next video, we are going to talk how HIV mounts attacks on a immune system and what kind of immune system is attacked and what cells of an immune system are attacked. We are going to talk about this in the next video.